the number of coins collected per week by two coin collector A and B are in the ratio three to four. So two coin collectors A and B, the ratio is three to four, and this is the number of coins collected per week. So I'm saying three x is the number of coins collected by A in a week. And four x is the number of coins collected by B in a week. If the total number of coins collected by A in five weeks, total number of coins collected by A in five weeks, which is fifteen x, is a multiple of seven, so that should be seven k one. And the total number of coins collected by B in three weeks is going to be twelve x, which is going to be equals to a multiple of twenty four, which is twenty four times of k two. Then the minimum possible number of coins collected by A in one week is what? Minimum possible number of coins collected by A in one week. That means you are looking at the minimum possible value of x. Now look at this: that your k one should be nothing but fifteen x by seven. That means fifteen x as a number should be divisible by seven because I can't have a fraction over here because they are saying that it is a multiple of seven. So k one has to be an integer. Same way, if you look at K two, it is going to be twelve x by twenty four. If you solve it further, you are going to realize that this is going to be x by two, and this you cannot further solve, and you will have to realize that it is five x by seven. Now, x should be a number which should be divisible by two, and x should be a number which should have a seven also in it. So, the lowest possible value of x satisfying both of these equations will be forty. Another value that can be there is twenty-eight, possible, right? But again, you are looking at the lowest possible value because you want to look at the lowest possible value of three x. So three into fourteen is what is going to give you the answer, which is going to be forty.